Howdy, Possum Patty here. And can you say napkins? This hashtag, Can You Say Napkins, is hosted by Susan Hiles at Susan Hiles Art, Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming, and Joanne at Junk Journal Treasures. And on January 21st, this is an open collab. Anyone can do it and join in the fun. You are to add a napkin to a tag or a pocket. So I missed the first one. The first one was on the 14th, and that was a collage with napkins. I may still go back and do that. But today I'm going to work on the one that's due today, and that is add a napkin to a tag or a pocket. And I love these collabs because they encourage me to go into my stash and pull out things that maybe I would not have otherwise done so. So I have a little draw marked napkins, and I started pulling out a bunch of these napkins. As you can see, I have most of these were gifted to me. So I have quite a selection here, princesses, kawaii, Halloween, superheroes. I love the florals, another Halloween. I love this rooster and of course spring florals. This one's very interesting. And Christmas and Easter and more spring and more spring and more spring or summer and a paisley one. This one's interesting too. But the napkin that jumped out at me was this one. Very bright and very colorful. Look at this. This is gorgeous. And this folk art painting reminded me of painting that might be on some furniture that a gnome has in his house. And this is from a page in my gnome book. And this is a chest. And can you see the flowers on there? Well, this folk art painting reminded me of this, or this napkin reminded me of this folk art painting. And so I only have a few pages left in my gnome journal, and I only have one empty blank page left. I still have some journaling to do, but those pages already have journaling cards on them. But here's one last blank page. So I was thinking I would take this napkin and make a, oh, a pocket, I guess. I think I'll make a pocket and then I will make a tag to go in the pocket, put something on that. I cut a piece of cardstock to fit the page. I'll probably put it like around there. I know it's kind of tall, but this is going to get cut down just a little bit because I was thinking that I would put the napkin on here and then maybe cut around the design like that. So the first thing you do when you work with your napkin is pull the plies off. And if you can't get the little corner, oh, well, I got it though, you can use a piece of scotch tape to help you. And some napkins are two ply and some napkins are three ply. And this is a three ply napkin. So I can make sure I got both layers off. And this is interesting because the second ply has a little bit of a faded pattern from the first one. And that's kind of cool. Might be able to use that for something just like a light background. I like that. So I think what I'm going to do is reach down on the floor and get a piece of newspaper because I just threw everything on the floor. Uh, 
I am going to put a little bit of glue stick on here. Lay the napkin down. And then I think I'm going to put a little bit of Mod Podge on top of it to protect it. And of course there's a kitty hair. This cat has been all over the table. Okay, let's see if I can center this. Usually doesn't go down like smooth, smooth. That's some texture on this napkin anyway. And when you put the Mod Podge on it, it'll get even more textured. So I'm going to trim. Save this for another project. Trim this side and save that piece. Oh, this is just gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, I think I'm going to cut just kind of free flow. around the floral shapes like that. Um, I have to decide do I want this much white on the bottom. You know, I think I'm going to trim some of that off too. Yeah, I like it better without so much white on the bottom. This green kind of goes into the green on the page. I like the uh, uneven edge at the top. But I am going to put some Mod Podge on here. I'm going to take a little bit of matte medium, put it in a cup, and add just a little bit of sparkle to it. If I can get it open. keep my rubber gripper gripper handy and let's see brush 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 just take a little bit not much and I'm just going to cover this with the mixture Kind of make sure the napkin stays down to the cardstock and adds a little protective layer. Adds a little texture too. Okay, I'm just going to put this aside to dry and work on a tag to put or a journaling card to put into the pocket. Well, besides the gnome folk art, this also reminds me of my grandma's kitchen where she painted uh, on the wall over the fireplace that was in the kitchen. I know it's hard to see in this picture, but there's a wagon and some horses, a house in the background, and a garden, and somebody's harvesting the vegetables. 
and on the side it's more like a Pennsylvania Dutch design with a Disselfink and those flowers and Pennsylvania Dutch designs and this is my mom when she was very young in front of the fireplace and there's a little Dutch oven in the fireplace so I was thinking about putting this picture on the tag this is just a piece of cardstock, not very heavy cardstock. And maybe I can put some more. This is the other side of the napkin that I made the pocket with. And I like this so much I might put that on there again. But on the other side, where I put the picture, Maybe, well, I could put some more because I have some flowers left. I got another piece where I trimmed it. Here it is. Wow, that like just fits on there. And I mean just, 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 just fits on there. I could do that and just make the whole thing very colorful. Or... I can make this side a little different and use this second ply with a very faint design. Sort of like a background. And then maybe cut out a couple of these little panels and make a layer with them. Okay, one thing at a time. The first thing I'm going to do then is glue this down. And what I did the first time was just glue stick newspaper. I'm using craft permanent bond, not the washable one. And let's see if I can get this on here. Somewhat, somewhat even, not critical. Not critical. Turn it off. So my grandmother did a lot of painting on her walls. She had the Dutch door, you know, with the top and bottom that open separately, going from the kitchen into the back, I don't know what you call it, the back foyer. And in the bathroom, a half bath on the first floor, she, there was tile part way up, and then she painted a garden all around the bathroom with flowers and butterflies and birds. They're so pretty. And in her bedroom, she painted a wisteria vine that went up one side of the wall and then all around the top of the room with the wisteria flowers hanging down. Very pretty. These are just so colorful. Page. 
And let me fold it over. But she was a trained artist. She worked for several companies. She worked for magazine companies. Okay, I'm going to work on the layout of the back here. Now, do I want to put the rooster to one side so I can see it? It only go over that far. And still see the rooster. I like it because there's a bird here and there's a bird there. You might wind up getting covered up. Well, I decided to go bold on both sides. So the front of the tag is going to have these roosters. And on the back, I just kind of collaged on some of the flowers. And I'm going to put mom on right there. I decided not to use the little picture from, from the book because I think these bright colors are enough. But before I put the picture on, yes, I'm going to add some sparkle. I finished off the tag with this simple yellow ribbon. Picking up the yellow from around some of the flowers upside down. And so I took a piece of that ribbon and just ran it across the top of the page. And then my mind was saying, for some reason, button, button, button. So instead of bling bling, I'm going to put a little yellow button right there in the corner. Whoops, like that. Well, I just want to thank Susan at Susan Hiles Art and Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming and Joanne at Junk Journal Treasures for this prompt, Can You Say Napkins? for January 21st, because without them, I never would have gone in and checked out my napkins and come up with this very colorful page in my gnome journal. So I did both the pocket and the tag. Of course, I use the same napkin and put in memories of my mom at grandma's house. And this is probably around 1950, I would say. So 70 years ago. And this fits nicely into the very colorful pocket, my very colorful tag for a black and white photo. And if you'd like to see some more napkin collages or pockets or tags, I will link all the participants below and you can check them out. So I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling and thanks for coming along today. Bye bye.